Hey, what's going on? In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to link a style sheet, an external style sheet, to your HTML document. We're going to be revisiting this, um, adding a little bit more detail than I did in the other tutorial on linking style sheets. Now, the first thing we have in front of us here in our Notepad++ editor is the actual HTML document that we want to connect. Now we have not saved this yet. Let's go ahead and save this. It's one of the first things you want to do. And we'll just save it to our desktop. And do I have a folder I can put it in? Let's put it in the practice folder. Where's practice? Put it in that folder. And um, I'll just save it as linking.html. Oops. And of course right here you have the little drop down and you'll pick HTML. We'll save that. And so now you can see here where it says linking forward slash HTML. That's what we saved it as. Now we're going to create a new document that we will call uh, let's call it practice. We're going to save it to the same location. Actually let's save it inside the CSS. And we'll call this document uh, what do we have it already. We'll just call it styles dot CSS but let's go in here and pick it from the drop down cascading style sheets alright styles dot CSS and so now we have our two documents that we need we have styles dot CSS and we have linking dot CSS to let's begin with a simple style we're gonna use this HTML um, style or the selector we're going to create a rule saying that we want our background color. Let's make it blue. Okay, so that's our first rule. And just to give it some contrast, let's make the text color white. So, all right. So now what we've done is we've started out with the type selector called HTML and the background of our HTML everything within the HTML um, tag which includes the body so the body will um, be styled in blue if we link this sheet correctly and we're only doing this so that we can have a point of reference so I can show you all the different ways that you can link your style sheets all right now the first way that you can link your style sheet is the very basic link that everybody knows and it looks just like this you're gonna go link and the first part of that uh, you're gonna do the rel now the rel defines uh, the relation between the external document and the document that you're using so in this case the external document is a style sheet that we'll be calling so that's what we're going to call it it is equal to style sheet all right the next part of this is the type and the type refers to the mime type of the external file that's something that you can look up mime types but just trust me to keep keep it simple and just do what you're supposed to do and the mime type for this is going to be text forward slash CSS all right and the last part of this this is the most important part where most people make their mistakes when they're linking is the uh, href portion here and it's like an anchor tag and what it is it's a hyperlink reference to um, that external file in order for you to get this right you have to have the um, correct location now you can use either a relative path and a relative path would to our styles which we saved it if I remember correctly in CSS forward slash styles that's the name of the document dot CSS now in this case what we have here is we're saying that our we're going into the CSS folder the name of the document is styles and it is a CSS that's what this little extension is telling the computer if we did this correctly then the background of our document should immediately turn to 
blue and any text that we write and let's just give ourselves some dummy text here um, say that we're doing this right all right and let's save that let's run it in Chrome whoops let me check this out let me pull this over here so you can see it yeah you see that blue so this means that we've done it correct we have linked our style sheet correctly you can see that the text is white and the background is blue so we've done it correctly now if we had just put uh, styles for its last CSS let's see what would have happened save that let's go back to our browser refresh and you'll see that the styles have been taken away so if you don't put the correct address and this that was the relative address and sometimes you'll see it um, like this with the little dot and the forward slash that just simply means that relative to the position of this HTML document where we're linked from it is um, in the same it's just basically saying it's inside a folder if you see two dots then basically you would use two dots when you're coming out of one folder attempting to go into another one uh, I think you'd have to get more into uh, file management so if I was you I'd look for a tutorial on file management especially dealing in um, getting into oh excuse me the um, command prompts and uh, situations like that but there there's some tutorials you can find on how to make relative um, now the other way that you could do this is you could put the absolute link now the absolute link will include the HTT protocol you put that in there and the www if that's the case it might be like in our case it would be a uh, blog dot free web design tutorials dot info let me put that in there info and then inside of that we're saying this is our main domain here out there then we're going into the CSS folder that's an extent extended all for the main domain and specifically we're looking for this file um, one of the issues that I have sometimes with the relative domain is if you use a relative one and then later on you change it and it's the same with absolute but um, if you ever change where that style sheet is located you're gonna have problems finding it so um, be sure to just keep your styles updated no matter which style that you use um, this one is not gonna work because this is not actually where it's at this one's still on my computer so I'd have to figure out where I'd have to put this whole thing up here in there in order to get it to show we're not gonna do that for this tutorial but as we see once again let's make sure that our styles are still working and I will open it up in Chrome as you can see we're still doing it right let's delete this and I'm gonna show you the second way that you can indeed uh, impose a style and that's using the import rule and using the import rule is very simple you just use the style tag and again I'm sorry the type in this one is gonna be uh, text forward slash CSS if you don't put this in your styles you might it, it probably won't work every time I've tried to um, use internal CSS or embedded uh, e CSS and I didn't put this it didn't work so put this part right there close it forward slash style Oops alright and in here here's what you're gonna put you're gonna put use the at symbol import and then you're gonna use the URL URL and then we're gonna put the URL in here instead and the URL for this is going to be we'll use relative CSS forward slash styles dot CSS now if this works which I believe it will and basically what we're saying is that the, the we're trying to 
import the CSS style from an external position which is in the URL forward slash or CSS forward slash style slash CSS let's see if this works oh, wait, I don't need to do that let's go down here to linking and let's forward so we refresh and you see we're still doing it right come back here in our source and as you can see there's the import rule so you can also import your style sheet you don't just have to um, use the other rule uh, I used I've used both it doesn't really matter um, I think this this rule here the cool part about this is that this rule here also works inside the body tag because the style tag works inside the body tag as you'll see here so it, it works the exact same way it doesn't matter where it's at Let's refresh that and as you can see we moved it from the head to the body so these style you can use styles and this is a part of using the embedded CSS not the inline so now we're going to talk about the embedded CSS or as I call it internal CSS and this one uh, I don't I don't condone using this um, on a final copy unless of course maybe you just have one web page and maybe you might convince me that okay well I just use the embedded style sheet but uh, technically or typically no no just use just take this and put it in an external sheet whatever styles you have so let, we're gonna take this we're gonna copy this we're gonna come over here and instead of having the import from another position we're just gonna paste that right in and what we're seeing here in this section of um, CSS is that we want again our background in the HTML to be blue and we want some contrast so we made our color white if this works then we're doing it right let's check it out oh, God dang it did it again one second here and we refresh and as you can see it's still working let's refresh this as well and you'll see that our text forward slash CSS, our little style there, just says that HTML is going to be this, the background is going to be that. So we have successfully added CSS through the link. We've used the at import rule within the style tag. We've also used just embedded CSS. Now we're going to come in and we're going to use internal, or excuse me, inline CSS. And, and I hate this, but we're going to use it. And to do it, all you do is use style. And um, we're going to go equals. Okay. So now we're styling just this paragraph tag. Very important to note. Now we're styling just this paragraph. Nothing else. We're going to come in here. And um, what are we going to do? We're, we're just going to do the exact same thing. HTML colon not the um, curly braces like we did before in the style tag and in the external we're gonna do a colon and then let's do something a little bit different let's do the font let's change the font size and we're gonna give it a value uh, we'll say 22 pixels semicolon just like we would if we want to give it a new um, go into a new selector and this time we're going to select oh wait what am I doing HTML I'm very sorry about that I did that backwards I knew something was wrong alright the font size now we're saying we want to select the font size use a colon instead of the equal sign and then we're going to change that sorry about that mental error and then we're gonna do background and again what am I doing that's how much I use this inline CSS we'll do bold orange alright put that last semicolon in and let's see if we are indeed doing it right um, let's delete this so it doesn't interfere so we can see exactly what's happening and we're gonna run it again uh, we don't need to run we'll just refresh this and as you can see here 
we have successfully done it once again. So this is the third way you can use inline styles but as you can see using inline CSS only affects one particular element at a time. Now if you had a huge website that you're trying to build and you're trying to add styles one line at a time and remember this is not going to affect let's go in here go back real quick I told you this is going to be a slightly longer one than the other one because I want to go more in depth I want you to really understand what's going on here okay and we'll just say ha 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 because this one did not get styled alongside of it we'll come back out here and watch that you see that so you just spent all that time writing out this little piece of code to make this one orange right oh wait let's go back to make this one orange but it doesn't even affect the other paragraphs in your um, in your document so inline CSS is usually going to be impractical because it doesn't really take advantage of what you can do with CSS and the main advantage is that with this CSS sheet that we created where is it there we go with this CSS sheet we can link this to any number of other web pages you can even link across the internet so let's say that I created a style sheet for you to use you could connect with that style sheet using the absolute um, using absolute uh, linking you can use absolute anchor tag uh, reference tag there and you can come all the way across the internet and use my style sheet and connect with that so you can get my styles you can do that with CSS so the the real beauty of it like I said of connecting to a style sheet an external source is that you can use it over and over and over again in different styles and you don't have to go line by line styling what you want making this look that way making something else look another way and even using it on a page by page basis really doesn't make sense because you're trying to tell me that if you built a thousand pages and I always say a thousand you might think you're gonna start with one or two pages but all sites grow over time if they're gonna be successful and as that sites growing you're trying to tell me that you only want to keep that layout on one page I don't think so I really don't and so just go ahead take everything that's between that style tag throw it in an external style sheet put your link in there and I'll have the uh, the link in the at import uh, section in the description for you so you can go ahead and start practicing with that I believe if you go to our blog you can find a blank practice sheet to work with let me make sure it's there before I tell you that and don't forget to go to our blog and check us out from time to time and you'll see go right here to practice source files and yep I got blank dot zip there click on that and you can download it so uh, like I said I want to help you guys to really understand what's going on in CSS and not just be blindly making things look a particular way you can use these um, various ways of connecting your style sheets thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe have a great day